Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are from Xinyang Institute of Automation. It's our pleasure to present our research on the biosynthetic robots. Biosynthetic robots, which are composed of living biological system and electromechanical system, may offer both the advantages of them, such as intrinsic safety, high energy conversion efficiency, large energy storage, high accuracy, high strength, good repeatability. As to the traditional robots, the motors are the driver units. When it comes to the biosynthetic robots, the living cells or tissues are the driver units. Among the current bioactuators, skeletal muscles exhibit the potential to serve as actuators of biosynthetic robots because they are the main power generators of animals. However, the low differentiation quality of C2C twice and the control of the biosynthetic robots are the two of the main challenges of the biosynthetic robots. In this paper, I will approach based on securely distributed multiple electrodes was proposed to improve the differentiation of C2C2 myel blood cells and control the beating behavior of myel tubes for the development of biosynthetic robots. The simulation results demonstrate light. The electric field generated by CDMEs has larger gradient and less local high current density than that by TSEs, which means that CDMEs may be more suitable culture device and control tool for mild tubes. The experiment result shows that the cells stimulated by CDMEs with the highest differentiation and most lungs and wise than those, which means the CDME is suitable for the differentiation of C2C12. The experiment also showed that the beating amplitude of the mild tubes will change with the different electric stimulations with different frequencies, voltages, and directions. This means that CDMEs can be as a control tool of mild tubes for biosynthetic robots. The most detailed information of this work will be discussed at both. Thanks for your attention and welcome to have a discussion.